Jaco, Costa Rica, one of the most popular tourist destinations in all of Costa Rica. Hey, in my opinion, I believe more people come to Jaco than anywhere else in Costa Rica. And I think that's because they've done an excellent job in marketing, advertising Jaco. But the real question is, why do more people come to Jaco than anywhere else in Costa Rica? Hey, is it the working girls? Is it the casinos and the lure of winning money? Hey, is it the nightlife? Well, maybe it's none of those at all, and maybe Hako is just a great place to go where you can do lots of tourism, uh, lots of everything here in Hako. Well, today, why don't you join me as we go on a tour, and we're gonna discover, hey, why is Hako so popular, and is this the place you need to visit when you're coming to Costa Rica? But first, let me get 20 seconds to tell you about this free vacation I'm giving away. I am giving away a three-day Costa Rican adventure just for watching videos on my channel and learning all about living in Costa Rica. Subscribe now, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out, and watch to the end and I'll explain how you can qualify to win. All right, that's going to be an awesome vacation and I hope you win. No doubt you'll probably spend quite a bit of time here in Hako, so let's find out why Hako is so popular. Grab your water bottle, we're going to go on a walking tour, and we're going to discover everything Hako has to offer. Come on, let's go. But first, let's check out our map, and let's take a look at the route we're going to walk today. If you're coming from San Jose, well, you're likely to take and follow Highway 27 on to 34, and then you'll follow the coast right down here to Jaco. Let's zoom in. The main highway runs right by Jaco, and you can enter right here, or you can keep on going down, and this is really the main entrance. Let's zoom in some more. This is the main entrance where people usually enter, and we're going to start our tour right here. We'll take off walking, and we'll go all the way down looking at different things on both sides of the highway here. Hako is really a neat place, but most of this stuff, or most of the tourism, stops right here where this bridge is at. There are a few more things right here, but we'll go ahead and go on down. We'll actually tour the city park, and we'll travel down just a little further. We're going to stop right about here. However, I am going to get on the bicycle, and we'll go from the bicycle all the way down here, and we'll just spin around Crocs Casino right here so you can actually see right where that's at. There's not a lot of tourist stuff between Crocs Casino and the park, but today we'll get a chance to take a look at everything that's there and why you might want to enjoy Hako Costa Rica. All right, let's begin our tour. And you saw on the map where we're starting at. So we're going to go all the way to the end. And this tour is really, hey, if you're a tourist, you're wanting to check out Hako, these are the things you need to see. Make sure you watch the other video, because in the other video, I'm going to actually be stopping at places that a normal tourist wouldn't stop, you know. And I'm going to tell you about places in case you decide, you know what? I like Hako so much, I think I'll live here. There's a gym if you want to keep in shape while you're here. That's a really nice surfboard shop over there. A lot of people go there. Matter of fact, that's where I bought my first surfboard. Well, and my second surfboard. I still can't surf. I think I got to do more than just buy the board. What do you think? There are a couple of places to rent a vehicle in Hako, and Economy Car Rental is just across the street. Just ahead is BAC Bank, where you can use the ATM. Let's take a moment to tour the new Hako Walk. When I came to Costa Rica in 2013, the Hako Walk wasn't here. And in just a few short years, I've seen some massive improvements to places like Jaco, Costa Rica. And the Jaco Walk is one that made a tremendous amount of improvement, which made Jaco only a hundred times better to come see. 
The Hakka Walk is open air shopping center where they've got lots of different restaurants, lots of little different shopping centers and a lot of different things to actually see. So why don't you join me and we're gonna walk the Hakka Walk and see exactly what the Hakka Walk has to offer. You can find most of the things that you might need at the Hakka Walk from a pharmacy, eye care, and a lot of different places to eat. The Hakka Walk is very different than what I call the Hakko Strip or the main road that goes through Hakko. The Hakka Walk feels upscale. It's a lot cleaner than the Strip and simply has a huge variety of good food all in one central location. There's another gym or fitness studio right upstairs. We're headed toward a lot of good food and you'll also find a few realtors located in the Hako Walk shopping area. Now I intentionally came to the Hako Walk early in the morning so that it wouldn't be swamped with people and we can get a better view of everything without so many distractions. But normally by lunchtime, the Hako Walk with all of its great restaurants, all the little bitty shops, snacks, candy, ice cream, it's usually jam packed. There's a great little map here that shows the Hako area. All right, that's the Hakka Walk, which is at the beginning of our tour, so we've got a lot further to go. So let's get after it. Ridiculous Burgers is not only a great place to eat, but it's a lot of fun. Let's get a closer look. Check out Ridiculous Burgers because they've got five, I'm talking about five, hot challenges. Are you up for the challenge? Tell me, we've got five challenges here. We've got the Monster Burger. The Monster Burger Challenge is half a meter of burger. A half a meter of yes, burger. Yes, of course. And each burger is three patties. Three patties. Three patties. And also they have fries and onion rings. So you need to eat all the burger in 30 minutes. Wow. If I can eat all the burger in 30 minutes, what do I get? You get $100 and you not pay the burger. Wow. $100 and the burger is free. All right. Our second challenge is the Inferno Burger. Hey, I'm guessing it's probably too hot to handle. It's the most hot burger that you ever have. 
So yes. you need to eat this burger in 15 minutes. 15, 15 minutes, minutes to eat this burger. Yes. And you win a medal and not pay the burger. A medal but, and the burger's free. Yes, but I, exactly. But I need to tell you that it's really, really hot burger. So you need to eat a spicy food. Okay, okay. So you better be prepared for some spicy food. All right, challenge number three. Is the speed eating contest. It, that the nays say it's a speedy burger. You need to eat in three minutes. If I can eat the whole burger in three minutes. You know, pay the burger and you win a medal. Now, three minutes, how big is the burger? It's a double cheese burger. So it's a regular burger? Regular burger with cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, and also you get a fries and a small glass of Coke. Okay, so I have to eat the burger and all the fries? Exactly, and all a right. Coke. And a Coke exactly. in, in, in three minutes? Three minutes. Wow, okay. Yes. We're on to challenge number four. Challenge number four is the what? one chip it's challenge. Added. I mean, come on, one chip. It's got to be small. It's a small. It's Carolina Reaper. It has a what? Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reaper. One of the Reaper. most spicy chip in the world. All right. It's a hot chip. It's a really hot chip. Okay. So what's the deal? What happens and what are, what's the rules? You need to eat that and wait for 15 minutes without drink anything. Okay. So I eat the chip. Exactly. If I can go 15 minutes without drinking anything, mm -hmm. I win. Yes, exactly. What if I lose? You know, completed the challenge, you need to pay $44. That okay. is the cost of the chip. The chip normally costs 44 bucks. 44. But if you can eat the chip and no nothing to drink for 15 minutes, I get a medal and the chip is free. That sounds too hot to handle. Really hot. All right, on to challenge number five. Challenge number five is coffee. I love coffee. But it's a really huge cup of coffee. Oh no. Yes. Wow. This Top is a coffee. four liter cup of dang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how it's, how it's much time do I get to drink this? 15 minutes also. 15 minutes. And if I can drink all of this coffee in 15 minutes. Yes, yeah, you need to pay the, the, the All right. Game. And it's going to be hot. But if I lose? No. For this challenge, you can decide how do you want oh, the it temperature, have to temperature, if you want okay. milk, you, you want to wait for it to be cold. Okay, it's okay for so us. 15 minutes, I gotta drink this whole thing. Yeah, the challenge is to drink all the coffee. All yeah. the coffee. At the exact time. So. Within 15 minutes? Yes. All right. Okay, look, Hako is the place to be for entertainment, food. Hako has just about everything. And when I say everything, I am talking about the good, the bad and the ugly. I mean, there's tours galore all over the place. So you, to your heart's desire, you can check out what's in Costa Rica. Look, there's a casino down the street where you can win some money. There's also uh, places down here where you can get a massage. Men, I wink, of wink <laughs> um, massage, okay? And there's also <laughs> ladies of the night. But most importantly, there's a lot of food and you should check out Ridiculous Burgers because they've got good food. But there's also some amazing challenges. All right, you heard it. Are you up for the too hot to handle challenge? Come here and let me know your story. Put your comment below this video. I wanna know, have you been to Ridiculous Burgers and did you take up the challenge? Ridiculous Burgers was a fun place to eat and make sure to watch my other video to see did I win the one chip challenge? Wow, check out this side by side. Now this looks like it would be a lot of fun. You know, if you're going to Costa Rica, obviously you want some adventure. At AXR, man, they've got ATVs, side by sides. They got another side by side. They got motorcycles, they got bicycles. But let's find out, what does it cost? Hey amigo. Hola amigo. Morning, how are you doing? Great, man, how are you? Fine, thank you. My name is Abner, how can I help you? Abner, I'm Alan, and look, I just want to find out, you know, I like this place, and it looks like you got, well, everything. But I'm curious, if I want to yeah. rent this side-by-side, -side, what would it cost me? 
Uh, that will cost you $500 for the 24-hour rental, $2,000 deposit on a credit card, and driver license required. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds good. Well, what about this ATV? Uh, those ATVs, they have a price of $220 for the 24-hour rental, and you got to put down a $500 uh, $500 whole deposit. That's great. I mean, that's reasonable. And what about these motocross? Uh, the dirt bikes are $100 for the 24 hour rental and the same 500 deposit. Awesome. Now I see you also have bicycles. Bicycles, $30 for the 24 hour rental and a $200 deposit. Well, now that sounds good. And it sounds like a lot of fun. And I can take this out, go out for 24 hours, have a great time. But what if I just want to rent this for a couple of hours? Or what if I want to rent it for a week? Do you have different rates? Yeah, we have the hour, uh, rate, hour rates, uh, week uh, rates, even monthly. Okay, yeah. so I understand that's the prices today. And keep in mind, prices do change. However, hey, this sounds like a lot of fun to me. But you know what? I'm new here and I don't know where anything is at. Man, we can take you. If you don't know the coolest spots, don't know where to go, we can take you with the guided tour, which is private, will be you, your guests, and the guide leading the line. So you said the cool spot. So you telling me maybe we can see some monkeys? Monkeys, uh, nice birds, and uh, nature, go by the rainforest, waterfalls, uh, some hidden restaurants in the middle of the woods. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I hear just about everything. How about beautiful girls? Beautiful girls, you can bring your own. <laughs> you think I can find one here? Uh, most probably. Most probably. Fantastic. <laughs> well, it sounds like this is a lot of fun. But you know, a lot of times people hear about the gringo price. And this sounds legitimate. This sounds great. But I'm wondering, yeah, if um, I rent this ATV for 24 hours, you said it's like $220, 500 deposit. Okay, I'm here for 24 hours. If I come back, there's no damage, no problem. Is there any hidden fees? Do I have to pay insurance or do I have to pay any other fees that I don't know about? No, there are no hidden fees. All you got to do is uh, full tank uh, before bringing the vehicle back. And if there are no damage, we do a little inspection of the vehicle and we release your deposit right away. Fantastic. That's so how it works. That's reasonable. So if I don't know where I can get gas, I can just pay you to fill it back up. Exactly. Fantastic. Well, hey, this sounds like an awesome place to go. And where are we at? AXR, an extreme rider. An extreme rider. Sounds like an extreme place to me. So if you're in Hako, make sure to stop right here for all your adventure needs. While you're in Hako. If you need to buy groceries or anything else, Maso Minnows is a really nice place to shop. And the Trusto Mart next to it, well, it's kind of like a convenience store. The Banco Nacional has several ATM machines, but as a tourist, you can only withdraw colonas. You'll have to go to the Bank of Costa Rica if you need to withdraw US dollars. But in most cases, you shouldn't ever need to withdraw US dollars. Here's a great place for ice cream, and the public house is one of my favorite places to get an ice cold apple juice and cool off while people watch it.
Bank of Costa Rica has two ATM machines here and you're able to get US dollars if needed. Let's go across the street and check out some souvenir shops. On the Hako Strip, there are a lot of places where you can sign up for all kinds of tours. And there's a man cave. But I guess you should get a Cuban cigar at this smoke shop before going there. We're about to cross the bridge, and while there are a few more things to see on the other side, I think most people turn around here. We'll keep going, and I'll show you a couple of other interesting things. From what I hear, this is the best fitness center in the Hako area. Behind KFC, there is a decent sized shopping center you might want to check out. Across the street is Hako City Park. It's a pretty park and worth checking out. But first, let's find out how to win that three-day Costa Rica vacation. It's easy to qualify to win this three-day Costa Rican adventure by doing these four simple tasks. First, subscribe and hit that notification bell. This way, you will not miss out on future videos and more opportunities to win. Second, Click the like button. Literally, it takes two seconds, so do it right now. Third, comment. Let me know if you've learned something and what else you'd like to learn. And fourth, share this video. 
you never know whose life you will change because you took a few seconds to share this video on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, heck, share it on all your social media profiles. I don't usually see many people in the park, but I hear from time to time they have events here and they have a really nice stage in the back. If you're looking for a new golf cart or a Harley Davidson, well, you can get them right here in Hako. And remember, the public transportation is great in Costa Rica, so you'll always be able to get around. We're pretty much at the end of the Hako Walk. Most people turn around at the bridge down there, as there's really just not that much more on this side of the bridge. But if you continue going down the street, well, there is the very popular Crocs Casino, and there are several popular hotels and resorts down there, but there's really not much else to see there. Let's jump on my bike and we'll check out Crocs Casino. Keep in mind, this video is great if you're just going to be a tourist and you want to check out and see what Hako has. Make sure you check out the other video where I'm going to take you, hey, a little deeper, show you some things that you're going to want to see if you happen to live in this area. Hey, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next video where we talk about everything that's concerning living in Costa Rica.